Jai Ma. In which year did you meet Ma? How old were you? I met Ma on 2nd February, 51, 51. Uh -huh. And I was 36 years old at that time. Okay. Hmm? Did you have any spiritual inclination before? Yes, I had already. I had already, had already 15 years meditation. Uh -huh. And I was five years with a guru. French guru, uh -huh. without meeting, before meeting Ma. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. There was some background. There was so how, how did you come to India? You were in France, right? I was in France. You how, did you, how did you come to India and how did you get to know about Ma? You know, I came to India. I had one guru, eh? but I felt that uh, he was an intellectual more, eh? that he cannot give me the inner awakening. Eh? So I wanted to go to India to find somebody who can give me the inner awakening. Okay. Hmm? So my first idea was to see Ramana Maharshi. Mm -hmm. hmm? mm -hmm. I've read the book of uh, Brunton. You read the book of Paul Brunton? Yes. Hmm? So I thought he gave some money to Paul Brunton, he may give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But unfortunately, he died shortly before I came. Huh. So I thought, anyhow, he has died. But Aurobindo remained, eh? huh. well, you remember? Yes. Aurobindo remained. So my boat, we, we used to go by boat at that uh -huh. time, not by plane. Eh? So my boat had to start on the 12th December. Uh -huh. eh? A few days before my boat started, I saw a small note, a small note in the newspaper, Aurobindo had died. Eh? So I had no, no aim where to go, I didn't know where to go. Eh? So I told anyhow, I already looked my family, looked my family. And I had a lot of accommodation for Buddhist people. So I went first to Ceylon, Sri to Ceylon. And I went in Buddhist place. I stood in a monastery in Bhagavad Then uh, from Sri Lanka, I came to India. Then I wanted to make a tour for Madras Lord. I went to Pony City, this is the matter of history. And in Pony City, I met my celebrity. This Canadian lady had done the other way around. She came to my country and stopped me. So she told me, if you cross the Nares, you go to see Mananda. I thought, who is Mananda? So the little lady saying, huh? you know, my idea of guru, eh? What an old man is a wise <laughs> So I thought, oh, yes, it, guru, it didn't come in my idea. I could have a woman as a guru. So when I came, uh, you remember um, when Claude de Votelma, Potolda, you remember? Potolda, eh? So I had an introduction for Potolda, but I didn't know him. He was not there. So I get a letter with nephew. And his nephew brought me to him. Hmm? And nephew put her love on me to him. And I would not have asked to see her, but when I came, she came out from the Kanya pit. Just, hmm? just out of the Kanya pit. And then she looked at me, you see. Uh, she talked in Begali, of course. Huh? He said he was interested in me. And then the only thing I remember, she told him, a child, Balo, Balo. <laughs> See, then the first, the first sight, it was something strange in me. Eh? All right, intends to go immediately. I told it, let me stay a little more. <laughs> something strange I felt. But what is remarkable, you see? People told me, oh yes, she's so beautiful, she attracted you. I didn't notice her beauty at all. Yeah, me. What was my impression? Yes. So I described it in the following way. I said, suppose you have a keg full of powder, huh? mm. uh, gunpowder. Yes. Somebody's throwing a match in it. Huh? Yes. Nothing happened in the moment. Yes. 
But you know something, this song is going to happen. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> huh? So I felt something going to happen. So I was in Clark Hotel. You know in the Clark Hotel? Yes. So I went in the Clark Hotel after I met Ma. I stood at the Cape Town with this time of wonderful Cape Town. Huh? Huh? And when I was in Clark Hotel, so the cake power exploded. <laughs> oh, it was something inimaginable, you see? Some unearthly bliss, you see? A bliss I've never felt in my life. Some bliss, unearthly bliss. And the strange thing in this is that in this bliss, I came to find a real guru, you see? In this bliss, there was the absolute conviction that this person you have met is the guru you have come to look for. Or do I didn't know anything about her. Yes, yes. Huh? So next morning, I came to Ma. I told her, can I stay in your ashram? I didn't want more to go to her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I told her, yes. And since I'm in the organization, oh, right. and since 3rd February, well, I met her on 2nd February, and 3rd February she permitted me to stay in the ashram. Mm -hmm. huh? So you left everything? What did you I left. No, you know, the first thing, I thought the first uh, idea was it may be some emotional thing. Huh? So I, I didn't cancel my boat. I told them to postpone it for a few months, you see, to take the next boat. Huh? Huh? But by and by, the next boat was right to cancel. <laughs> and it was finished forever. Huh? Since that time, you always marked. Since that time, So Mark told me this. She told me in a car, in a compartment, you know, she was traveling uh, three days here, three days here. Sometimes we were the whole night with her. Yes. Huh? So I could discover who she was. So whatever I knew about Ma was my own experience, yes. not from books or people say. Yes. I came with a tabula rasa. You know tabula rasa? Yes. Huh? Yes. I came from Ma. I didn't know at all who she was. Mm -hmm. huh? And Ma said, I discovered. And I discovered that she was an extraordinary great being, which I never met anywhere, you see, by my own. Eh? Eh? So in the beginning, you know, I was in a compartment, so she was sleeping down, eh? and I had upper berth. When I understood who she was, I didn't want to sleep about her. I slept at her feet. <laughs> eh? Yeah. What, how would you introduce them to Ma? What would you tell them? Because for them, they would probably say, we've met this yogi or this Mahatma, and they've also gone through that particular kind of bliss, where they feel that, okay, this is the final thing, or this is the absolute well, it thing. Is not and yet we are saying, no, it takes that time, is absolute, uh, yeah, but Ma true. is. Yeah. So how do you differentiate the two? How do you tell them that, no, this is You the tell them that we they come with real devotion, Ma awakes uh, divine love in the heart. That is the main thing. When this is awakened, then you start. Huh? Yes. That you can tell her. Huh? She has done it for many people. Huh? Yes. Not only this, but Ma, uh, she used to daily miracles, you see? Yes. That means changing an unbeliever in a religious man, yes. changing a wicked man in a virtuous man. Right. Huh? Right. That was Ma's daily miracle, you see? You want the story how I learned Hindi? Yes. Huh? Yes. It's an interesting story. Yeah? Huh? So when I was with Ma in the beginning, huh? I, <coughs> I had learned a little Sanskrit. So I knew the Devanagari script. Uh -huh. That I knew. Uh -huh. see? But Sanskrit I didn't know anything. Okay. So I tried to get a few words to go to Baza, Ata, Chini. <laughs> that I knew. <laughs> Ata, Chini. Yeah? Uh -huh. That lasted one year. Huh? Okay. So after one year, about in January 52, Ma went to Raj, to, yeah, to Rajgir, I think, Agyatvas, you remember? Yes. You don't know, you can't remember. And she took, in this time, I was her permanent companion. Eh? I, where was it? It was, no, it was Rajgir, yes? Yeah, I think it was Rajgir. So she took Agyatvas, and nobody knew who she was. Right. We went in any place, once they shot us out, Finally, people knew who she was. Uh -huh. So they came from Patma, from everywhere. And then they put us in a nice Dharma Shala. So people asking questions at Ma in Hindi. And she was replying in Hindi, and I was looking. 
all of a sudden I understood what Ma was telling me. <laughs> it was not finished. Huh? So in 50, 54-55, Ma told me to stay one year at Arbora, to keep Ma on in Arbora, and to stay one year. I was supposed to keep Ma on. I was allowed to talk when I go to Bazaar, not to write, it would be stupid. Bazaar used to go on in eight days or in ten days. I used to have a lot of talk. So I was there up to uh, April. Mark Janemut was in Solan. You, you don't remember, you're too young. <laughs> in Solan. So I asked the permission to go. I asked the permission to stay one year. So I got the written. Do you mean one year according to the moon or according to the sun? Oh, no. <laughs> I wanted to go earlier. <laughs> so she told, no, according to the sun. <laughs> Anyhow, when my when my year was finished, I didn't miss one day. <laughs> I went straight to see Ma. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so eager to see her. When I came to Solan, I didn't take bath, uh -huh. nothing. I got rushed in the room, yeah. make up an arm, and starting talking. Yeah. So Ma looked at me in amazement. Jai, you know Hindi, huh? Jai, you to Maunita, to me Hindu bilku saad bolte. I was talking Hindu fluently. My God. Huh? <laughs> now, the proof that it was not reflected me. Shortly later, I was by bus, I don't remember. I was from Almora going to see somebody. Near me, there was um, an Indian, an ordinary Indian. He was talking a long, long time. Um, travel was. You want to answer? Huh? Huh? There was an Indian near me. And we talk a long, long conversation in Hindi, yeah? I was fluent in Hindi. So after say one hour more, he looked at me, he told me, are you foreign or you have an accent? <laughs> that means that my Hindi, made uh, sure I didn't do anything. Huh? Did you call this man Leela? I think so, yes. Yeah. No, what is possible, Mas Leela, of course, that she brought on surfaces some samskara from previous life. I may have been in India, and knowing Hindi, Hindi, and it was there in the unconscious mind, yeah. and she may have brought it herself. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. huh? And uh, how do you react? You know, there is a lot of stuff going on in the ashram that you are an Indian and you are not yeah. an Indian, yeah. and that you are a foreigner, and you know, foreigners are not allowed this and that. How did you cope up with that? And why should it be like that? Because I don't think personally that Ma has any niyams any rules, mm. then why are these rules applicable for foreigners? You why see, in the beginning, I had several hours talk with Ma. Yes. She explained me the whole thing. Please explain to us. Yeah, she explained me the whole thing. Eh? In the uh, Vindhyachal, I was alone with her. Somebody interpreted this time, I didn't know enough. So, she told me following. Eh? She told that when she was younger, she didn't mind, it comes in, Huh? She didn't mind all this for me. Should I take it? Okay. Huh? It comes? Shall we just check this out? Check it if it comes. Huh? So Ma told me that in the early year she didn't observe any of this world. In actually she was eating fish and sometimes meat even. And one day she wanted to eat with the dog even. Huh? It's a dog. But people didn't, didn't let her eat. No, so she said after some time when people starting assembling around her. You know that was the Bangladesh Brahmin, very, very orthodox. Eh? Eh? Especially her, her mother. You didn't you know Niti Ma? You know. So the group assembled her and told her, Ma, we consider you as Kali incarnate, you know, eh? little Manusha Kali. She's Manusha Kali. Now whatever you eat, becomes holy, becomes pasal. Eh? It's not allowed to throw it away, you have to eat it. Now, suppose you eat in pure food. So we also we have to eat in pure food. Eh? It's a good argument. Eh? It's an argument. Eh? So she didn't answer immediately. Eh? She told, let us see what will happen in the following days. Eh? So the following day, the next day, I don't remember what she told me, uh, one big pandit came. I guess it must be in Kovinat Kabilaj, but she didn't tell me the name. Huh? Huh? So she asked him about it. 
So the Pandit told her, we are in Kali Yuga now. Hmm? Hmm? People are not capable to do anything. So they need some discipline. And following the school will give them some discipline, some force them to awareness, to be careful. Huh? For the, he told for the Kali Yuga it's a good thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you see, it is, I know for him well, I know Indian well. You see, it is a totally different civilization. Yeah. They should not mix together. Huh? Huh? And you are happy with it. Yeah, I think it's all, it's all right. Huh? It is a civilization so different, you see? Huh? The way of thinking, only say one detail. Huh? Sexual morality. Hmm? What is horrible for Indian is daily life for Westerners. Yes. Hmm? Yes. So sooner or later, if they contact with them, it will it will uh, affect them. Hmm? But there's no interest to mix. Hmm? You follow me? No, another story about Ma. All in the days was in Solan. You see. So I came. How this was after this? I came, I was a little special type, you know, this time. <laughs> I came straight in my room. I told Ma, you have put a boundary against you, against Western. <laughs> I could have straight on. <laughs> so she took a grand look. She was standing you know, a grand look. And she told me, there's no question of boundary. I and you are one. Huh? She told me this, eh? in showing her, me her body. Eh? The interpreter told me a sorry, but she meant her body. Eh? This is only an appearance. I'm all pervading, she told me. Eh? Eh? That was the plan. Eh? Eh? What ma is? She is a supreme being, you see? Eh? The supreme being can take any form, form of my being. You see the supreme being. I tell you by my own experience, my personal experience, you see. You know, uh, when you start sadhana, uh, real sadhana, when you become a sadhaka, the first step is to open the nadi. You know what the nadi? Nadi. Eh? Now, if you are alone, it takes you long, long years for, to open the nadi, to clean them up. Ma has done it with me in a trice, just sitting in front of her. Eh? In front of her, just, eh? And much more, I think I didn't see any Mahatma was able to do it. He needs a little of concentration. But she was often talking with people, huh? without any effort. Huh? And she could also, when something got wrong, she could close it at will. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that is a sign of greatness. Huh? Huh? When the guru opened, actually opened the nadi, and he opened some higher chakra, you see, you are not the same person. Huh? You are quite a different person. Eh? Huh? Huh? The main thing is that you gain intensity. Everything is very intense. You gain ten times more intensity. Huh? So one should be very careful. Not to get angry, avoid sexual. You see, during seven, eight years, I didn't look at a woman. Huh? I didn't talk with a woman during this period of training. Huh? And one was extremely careful. Yeah. A sadhu, a sadhu, uh, a sadhu, real sadhu or a sadhu, as you call him. Huh? A sadhu is a man who is, uh, has the experience of sad of the truth, sadhu, huh? the experience of truth. The sannyasi, that is a Brahmin, that is a fourth stage of life. You know the first phase of life. So a Brahmin or a higher caste, when you have reached the 
first day of life, then you take sadhyas, that means you renounce to everything. Eh? Even to ritual, you know, a Brahmin can, uh, he cannot do more his ritual. I talk of the real one. Eh? Baiji, yes, yeah. Baiji was a good son, so it's a real renunciation. Yeah. Yeah. You can put it down, yes. Yeah. So, hmm? yeah. you know, no, you, you know, their rules is your first day of life. Nice thing, you know, yeah. that means if somebody has enough Vairaga renunciation, he doesn't need to go to the first stage of life. He can take immediately the stage which is called Nafsi Pramacharya. That he makes the vow of Pramacharya, he can put on Gerua, but he's. Like eternal Pramacharya. Eternal Pramacharya, yes. Yeah. But still he has a lot to do puja. He has not broken from it. It's a Nafsi Pramacharya. What is the difference between the Sanyasa and the Pramacharya? The yoga. You see, this thing may impersonate. Hmm? That means a yogi may be a sannyasi, and a matma may be a yogi. Yes. Hmm? But I don't think no one is. How would you differentiate the difference from a matma and this is a yogi? Yogi usually are people who practice Pantajali yoga, you know, Ashanga yoga, hmm? who do the different stages of Pantajali, Pantajali yoga, who do dhyan, samadhi. Up to somebody, they are yogi, hmm? Up to yogi. Yeah, 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 I want to tell you about Vishuddhananda. No, Vishuddhananda, he used to do this miracle. He told it is Surya Vidya. He told it is not a miracle, hmm? Surya Vidya. So Ma went to see him once, you see? So Ma told him, Baba, hmm? It's not enough Maya, you create a new Maya. <laughs> That I heard. I were not, I were not present, but I heard. So I have heard that you should not told. Ma, you know, I know the other thing or <laughs> I know all of the other thing. But I saw them this, eh? that I saw them what I want to see, that I can show them later what I want to give them. That we are present, but like this. That he was telling, you have told this. It's so easy, yeah, yeah, we should learn that. Paramantra, that is also, you know, in the scripture, in, in uh, Narada. You have read Narada Panisha? Hmm? We give different type of sannyasi. Hmm? We call people Paramantra, which are not Paramantra. I thought that's the real Paramantra. <laughs> the real Paramantra. The real Paramantra is somebody who is not bound by any rule. Huh? No, 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 no. There are different states of science. Now my question is, since Ma is Makshakti and beyond the schedule of the mm-hmm. how can that be managed? In Ma, you see, what is my personal idea? <coughs> what happened with Ma, you see? Ma, she had no volition. Hmm? She was ever established in the sutra. Now, that it, actually she has told something to Baiji in this way. You see, some group of people, I suppose, then, then Baiji, had a strong learning that uh, the divine should come back to establish the Dharma. Hmm? The Dharma is the way the Dharma was in the orthodoxy. <laughs> Hmm? They wanted I mean Bibi Ma and all these people you know. They had a very strong wish that divine should come down and retablish or to take it to it more clearly the whole Vedic tradition. Hmm? Not the whole Vedic tradition, all beauty. It's very beauty. Hmm? So I think my idea, personal idea is that Ma came down for this to establish the whole Vedic tradition. And it's not revolution, whatever you call it. From, from the but it was vanishing completely, yeah? Huh? You know about it, huh? It was vanishing completely, yeah? Do you think she came only for the elected? Do you think she came for all mankind? No, she, she gave all mankind 
to lead them to, to Brahmagyan. Eh? But all great sages had a special mission. Eh? She came by all great sages to awaken people to the divine. But they had a special mission. A special mission, my personal opinion, eh? personal opinion is to make a stronghold of the old Vedic tradition. Eh? And you can see it. Eh? Eh? Yeah. It's okay. Not subject to limitation, but it takes the limitation you project on him or her. Uh, the devotion. Limitation within us. Yeah. We project the limitation and she has come in that way. But basically, the Supreme Divine is really mm -hmm. Basically. You know, she had no limitation in the early years, you see? So she could fast three months without reducing, she could reduce her body. You know, you read about it. But I think in the later years she's left with us. Hmm? To do all this trial, this dancing. Yeah. When I came, it was finished, you see? She didn't do it. She used to do what people expected from her. People were around her. So, you know, the mistake, mistake we made, we, the mistake we made is to confuse mind the body, which is the thing. Hmm? The body was just an instrument, you see? Hmm? You say it comes to mass, you mean mass body, but not for mass body, it's an hmm? instrument. The divine consciousness. Hmm? Hmm? I think I've again gone away from them. <laughs> <laughs> they were complaining when, and sometimes after some time I was talking, they were complaining that I had. <laughs> the How will they? How will they care? Like some people who are really into it as well. Yeah. Some people who are really into it as well. You know, to be this smart doesn't mean only to be this smart physically. It means to have real contact. Hmm? You know, I think it's uh, Arnaud Desjardins, huh? Arnaud Desjardins. Arnaud Desjardins asked to Mar, people who live on the earth today. They must have a special blessing. Ma didn't tell anything. She told me twice. <laughs> it's not enough to be near physically. I'm not saying that. Those who have really a contact. Uh, what we are saying is, Ma, uh, some are intense in their effort to start some are in their effort. Hmm. Will some have to take more life and some less or, you know, some more and some no more? It's like this. Yeah, too, I think it's all to the I think it is both for shots and creepers. No, actually I told to several people, I didn't hear it, but I heard it several people, the people who had been connected to this, huh, who had the maximum free life to live. You know. Huh? Huh? Yeah. yeah. No, that means, this means a real connection. See? We have a real connection. This is a good one, huh? You are what is called, the Buddhist of the Buddha. In the garden, it's what I'm talking. You heard about it? Once you are in the garden, you can have it. Huh? That is a real deal. I am in the current, and yeah. everybody else. I'm not talking about you. You, yeah. you cannot go back. <laughs> you know, it is when I don't know if you've been in the hills on the, the, the rivers, you come down to the hills. On the bank of the river, there are big logs of wood. You see, no? they can stay in eternity. But when you push them in the water, they will go. But you can't go back. Hmm? That is, eh? Who has been put in the garden? Can't go back. You see, I was in Miranda Ashram. It's from Miranda Ashram. So I asked him, what do you think about Krishna? So he told me he was very nice and laughing. He told me, you see, there are people who have gone on the terrace as a house with a ladder. When they are on the, on the ladder, they throw away the ladder. They say, come, come, there's no need of it. <laughs> well, that is Krishna Mishra. He has taken the ladder and take up the wheel on the middle of it. That's what Sivan Kapitan is all the time. That's what he talks to that. He talks to the high level way. Yeah, well, never he enlarged that, you know. But I never had an idea to go to see him. 
Soon civil one lady, Teres Bros, a well known lady, military society, she has written very interesting things. She told me I discovered that she was and she wanted to see her child. So we phoned her husband, eh? he was still there, it was in March. And so let us see for her, I wanted to see. So we went, um, four people of that, eh? to the Ganga. You see, you see our ashram is uh, Asuga, yes. and he is Rajga. We took a boat up to him. Eh? And uh, you know Atmananda, you heard about Atmananda? Atma was very close to him. Atmananda told him, uh, be very careful, eh? Krishna Mukti. And that was like anything which is in tradition. You should not make him pronounce. <laughs> you should not offer him anything. He will get wild angry. <laughs> so I went with his idea. <laughs> but anyhow, you see, my habit to offer him, I took some roses from the ashram <laughs> and brought him. <laughs> so, so we went there, and Krishna Mukti in that time, he was observing. He was living seclusion, in seclusion, and we could not talk with him. He was just walking on the, on the garden there, and we could have darshan. So we thought that better, we want only have darshan for him. So we went also, and first it was raining. So we thought it was raining, if somebody won't come out. Eh? So you, have the, you, yes. get, you get the bank? Yes. Huh? So anyhow, we took, uh, sat on the bank, uh, the room he was there. He said, he said, we are going back. We could not make it. While we are a little waiting to go back, his secretary called down. Krishnamurti calls you up. <laughs> so he went out in this room. <laughs> okay. It's very nice. Eh? Yes. He must have told him people, yes. as come from Namaya yes. huh? mm. So, as a force of habit, you see, mm -hmm. out of reverie to make him pronounce. <laughs> See, see, and I gave him the roses, uh -huh. out of habit, uh -huh. it's such, it's such reverence, yes. especially the gesture he made, yes. you see, the sub love, eh? uh, not to tell him go away, but to bring up in his room. But not only he didn't uh -huh. get angry, but he took the roses, I gave him much love. A few petals has fallen on the ground, he kicked down and picked up every petal, loving it. <laughs> that is the Christian book in private, you see. Huh? And when we went, he embraced us, so he, he, he accompanied us up to the door. Mm -hmm. huh? It is Krishna Bhakti in private. And another time I heard his lecture, so he's very cold, distant in his lecture. Huh? Okay. It's not the same Krishna Bhakti. Okay. Huh? Mm. What is meditation for me? If it is an attempt at self-knowledge, then one is being aware of one's conditioning, being Basic meditation is to know the mind and to speak, to make the mind silence. That is all. Meditation, the aim of meditation, is to make the mind silent. For the eternal divine. Is that what you mean? Yes. But it is veiled the movement of the mind. You see, like when you let your, your key fall in the lake. Eh? Eh? The movement of the wave, you cannot see what is about it. So if the movement of the mind are still, it appears from its view. That is the aim of meditation, that the mind becomes still, that the real can... <laughs> the mind becomes still, that the real can, can appear from himself spontaneously. You cannot get it, you cannot catch the real. But the aim of meditation is not to get realization. You cannot get realization. It must reveal from it. The aim of it is negative, to remove the veil. You see? And the veil is due to the movement of the mind. Eh? And the basic movement of the mind are the negative movement. Eh? Calm, cold, low. You know? That is the basic. It's the first work to remove the basic, uh, the basic obstacle, eh? the movement of the mind, the agitation of the mind. Eh? Once this is removed, you have nothing to do, it will reveal such a spontaneity. But it is ever there. Yes. Hmm? You put on me? Yeah. <laughs> so tell, tell us something more about what you experienced with me. Tell us. <laughs> You're very greedy. 
<laughs> you see, one cannot talk. It's not personal experience, you see. But what I can tell you, a few things that I can tell you, you can talk with my distance, you see, it's your example. In the beginning, I didn't believe it. Huh? But every time the needed ma gave me through experience, huh? she gave me one to experience, she said she hear a distance, what I say. I didn't believe it. So once I was in Benares, huh? in the beginning I was extremely attached to her. I could not stay one day without being my wife. So she wanted to win, she wanted to win me away, you see. So she asked me to stay at Benares. And she used to come at least once a month in Benares. So one day, uh, she went to Vindyachal. You know Vindyachal? She went to Vindyachal and uh, to take rest just. Uh, there was no, no reason, like that reason why, no date when she will come back, no time how long. So the next day or two days after, you know that from you know, I was sitting on the upper veranda. So I was sitting on the upper veranda. And of course, thinking of Ma, yes. <laughs> supposedly doing meditation. <laughs> so, so it came in my mind, eh? just to, to play, so, eh? okay. to talk with Ma. <laughs> so I started talking with Ma. I took oh Ma, it would be nice, he would come. <laughs> Although I didn't mean to say, I didn't think she can hear me. Yeah. It didn't come in my idea. Yeah. Eh? Oh Ma, it would be nice if you come. Eh? While well, I was telling this, I heard a soft voice in my ear, in Bengali, very soft, like a, a whispering voice. Huh? You know Bengali also? So it was Akarshambhadna Hoy. You know what it means? Yes. Ma, you've ever told this. Akarshambhadna Hoy. Huh? In this time I didn't know Bengali, but this I understood. Yes. And the rest was transmitted mentally. I will come tomorrow evening. Transmitted mentally. Huh? Huh? I thought it's just my imagination. How can my hear me at 60 miles difference? Huh? Suppose even she hear me, why should she take the trouble to reply? And why should she become pressure for me? I think just madness. So I took it out of my mind. Huh? Completely out of my mind. So the next evening, it was in winter, I was staying on the upper second floor in the Benares Ashram, eating and preparing my food. So I heard a voice from Bamukti Baba, you remember? Yes. Mukhtar Baba, you were joking. You know, you remember him? Oh, yes. Yeah. The voice of Mukhtar Baba, my Shetsen, my Shetsen. You understood? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I thought this is a, a joke of Mukhtar Baba. <laughs> How can my... <laughs> so after I had a second thought, after all, she may really have come. <laughs> so I left everything, I rushed down. She had come, actually. She had come, actually. But she was very really serious. You know? I had hardly... The, the time to make up an arm, she rushed in the canopy. Next morning she went to me. Huh? And everybody tried to guess why did Ma come That's for one day. Nobody could find it out. One said for this, for the I was the only one who knew. <laughs> but I didn't tell it of her. Did you travel a lot with Ma? Yeah, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. During nineteen months without stop. Oh you did? Yeah, yeah. It was terrible for me. It was terrible suffering. Where were you at that time? I was. I went to see her at um, Deradun mm -hmm. when she was three weeks before. When she was already quite. Ill. I know medically. I know this. Yeah. You see? So when I uh, it was forbidden to go in a room, but I went anyhow. Yeah, <laughs> so she received me very kindly. I didn't want to talk with her, for that person she talked, she's vomiting, you see. I don't know, but she has said she talked. So she had the, she has found out, uh, once she gave me fruits, you see. It was a three days puja, she was even more her. So once she gave me fruits, she gave me three. So it was three, one gives to an enemy. So I gave you four. Really? Why is it like that? She told you. So she had taken the habit and she gave me fruits. So this time also, she took out four fruits and she gave it to me. Uh -huh. So I went out, I stood at the door, huh, looking at her, huh, and she looked at me very, very long, huh, very long time. And she gave me the impression, very, with great love, you see, she gave me the impression everything will be all right. Huh? 
Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai de chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai pas eu de chicken. Je n'ai pas I think to people, I talk to people. Huh? She will come back, but she, we, we waited for Durga Puja. Huh? Huh? And then we heard. It was a, uh, it was a terrible thing hearing. Huh? Then I didn't believe it. I thought she may be in some other. Huh? Huh? I had told to people who were there that if it goes wrong, please inform me. would have come immediately. But they get this secret. Mm. So it was very, very hard. Mm. Yeah. Now, we, you just said that you know, I thought she was in Samadhi. Why would Ma go into Samadhi? So no, she may. Think that she was, she was in yeah, yeah, you are right. That, that's what she didn't do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I thought this state of unconscious huh? may be kind of Samadhi. Huh? Yeah. And we people may be mistaken for this. See? But after I talked to people, I understood that really she had gone through kind of process which was physical death. Yes. Yeah. After I understood it. Yeah. So what I want to tell you with this story, uh, that's what, that is the main thing, the most important thing. It is that the guru, like Ma, yeah. when he gives you a lesson, you will say, I hear you at distance. Yeah. You go to one year, it goes out to another year. But we should give you by experience, you never forget. Yeah. Huh? And the second lesson she gave me, first lesson, the second lesson she gave me in the same way, don't call the guru unnecessary. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's she very, really, she was very severe. Yeah. We should not call the guru for nothing. Yeah. Huh? Not unnecessary. Not unnecessary. Yeah. These two lessons I got which I never forgot. Yeah. Huh? Ma used to give lessons that way. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it mean? Like in the, you, in the past life, some people say that yog brushed hua hoga, is the wo hai gaya, karm hai gaye, you come back to fulfill those, and then suddenly one day you wake up. No, yoga brushed. Yoga brushed, uh, which is uh, Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Yoga brushed. Yoga brushed are people who have done a lot of tapasya in their previous life, but due to some attachment, they could not go really. So they are reborn uh, to, to taste this vasana they have. Huh? Once they've tasted the vasana, they start again, they start again. And then they get to say, that is yoga master. Yoga master is usually a high advanced person. Huh? He's formed for yoga, so he had some vasana, he could not conquer. He, he could not get right up. So he had to be reborn to, to, to taste this vasana. What is your question? What is the Rishi Kanya? Huh? Rishi Kanya. Rishi Kanya. Girl Rishi. There was in the uh, in the Vriyadu Aranyaka Upanishad. We had one Rishi Kanya, uh, Gargi. Uh -huh. You heard about Gargi? She was a Rishi Kanya. Okay. Huh? Nishi told me about the Rishi in previous life. Really? <laughs> when we do sadhana, yes. we are told to concentrate either on the Adya Chakra or the Anana. Mm -hmm. or who are about to begin sadhana, their kundalini is not open. None mm -hmm. of the chakras are open. Then why is specific points that they will choose? Usually the point to concentrate is the heart. But Ma was telling that people with a tendency to anger should not concentrate. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So it increases anger. She advises them to concentrate on the heart. But out of all these chakras, why these two are given so much importance? It is support, it's support. But if you meditate on the lower chakra, it may wake some gross feeling. Eh? They are noble feeling. Eh? Eh? The heart and the intellect. Eh? Eh? How does one come to Krama Mukti after meeting? Like Sadyo Mukti, like people like you are Sadyo Yeah, Krama Mukti. Krama Mukti, where people of the world, yes. they want 
mitten durch die Tür. So Karma Bhakti is given to people, for example, Brahmin, Buddha Yagna. Huh? Or people, when you go to Kumbha Mela, you get Karma Mukti. Karma Mukti is progressive, you see? That means uh, you go uh, huh? you step by step to the higher plane until you come to Brahma Loka. Sometimes you can go directly to Brahma Loka. Then you leave. When you shed your body. And you are sent up to the Yeah, higher after the death of the body. You, you are not sent back. Those situations yeah. are created for you there so that you can progress real sadhana. Yeah, is yeah. That Brahma Mukti? Yeah, yeah. So how does that happen once we meet Ma? Hmm? After we've met Ma, yeah. how does that happen? You know, how when you ever, create the situation? When you have a guru, like Sadhguru, you have to make the in moment of death, the guru must appear before you. It is his duty and lead you away from you. Everyone with a connection with him. Yes. Metma doesn't mean. No, Metma means not just seeing with the connection. It should be connected. It is a law. It's a, it's a what do you mean by connected with the people? That is another love, to have real love. To have real love. Real love, which is connected. Not told one, you see. You must, have, you must know me. Those who have loved this body. Even ones can never more come back to it. Whatever effort they may do to eradicate it. You know it, eh? It's yours to me, eh? eh? So we have eternal connection, eh? 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 What would you like to tell people who would like to know Ma? Who would like to know Ma? First, I should read some books. Eh? Then sit at the Samadhi. Then talk with the Lord devotees. Hmm? 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 I know, especially Koringa. I know Koringa who gets a close connection with Ma, just to a photo. Hmm? The connection is possible. Hmm? Hmm? Anything you would like to tell us? Or some questions that I probably have forgotten. Yeah, Rishi, you should. <laughs> You know, huh? You know, um, once they asked me, must write an article. Huh? Uh, you must have read it, Ma by the Yes. I was very unwilling to. Uh-huh. Very unwilling. So I wrote in this time, even though I write only in the night in the slow motion. <laughs> I don't write at all. <laughs> so I told, I've written then after the article. I would have better to burn to do like. Kamala Khan, you know Kamala Khan? Ma, yes, huh? yes. Just to say ma, ma, ma. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. How old are you? I am over 86. That's good. Huh? My head. <laughs> my head. <laughs> my head. Old. No, 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 my head. 80. I'm going to 87. You see, this is not the question. The question is that wherever you are, huh, you bring your mind with you. Suppose I go in an ashram, you will say it. There's no, no point of changing. It's like a spider. You put it anywhere, it puts his, uh, his uh, net. The same net. Huh? Uh, that's the same. So there's no point of changing. Huh? You, have, you have the same friend, the same enemy, the same problem. By and by, everything gets recreated. No point of change. Everything on your mind. Projection of your mind. Hmm? Hmm? What kind of food do you eat? I eat sattvic food, yeah. rice. Do you cook your own food? Yeah, I cook my own Rice and vegetables. Hmm? 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 Evening, it depends. Usually, uh, I take very light in the evening. Hmm? If I'm really hungry, I make some kind of food. Roti with baking powder. Okay. If I'm really hungry. Okay. If not, I just take tea and biscuit. <laughs> or sometimes I have also, uh, you know, these soups they have in the West. 
some putting about me, so I make a soup, make soup, evening is ready, then on fruit. Evening is ready. It's difficult to say, you see. Oh. You become a sannyasi, right? Huh? You are a sannyasi. I have not taken official sannyasi. Hmm? But Ma gave me, on several occasions, his own hands of her actions. So I consider it a sannyasi. So you know the disciple of Ramakrishna. Wow. So he didn't take sannyasi. Right. Hmm? So Tatko once came, gave them to each a colored clothes, and they took Tatko and Ma. And Ma gave me them. And she considered me as a study, not at all. Yeah. How many hours do you spend with the first I will say I won't I don't make account with God. <laughs> I don't make account. And the thing did is to say, oh you know what I do, no? Eh? Before going to sleep, I start meditation. Then I go to sleep. It means when I I wake several times, again start meditation. In the early morning before getting out, I do again meditation. And when I start for good, then I do sitting meditation. So it's difficult to take a look. And Japa do it. Japa do it. Huh? She is everywhere. <laughs> no, but you know, still I have one photo. Face yes. to me, eh? And I have a connection. When I want something, I ask to look. Thank you.